Hi everyone! I know this is not going to be my typical vlog, but today will be a special episode because the Yale and U.S. College Council um, requested for me to create a graduation video. So the question next is, what is a graduation video? Well, I guess that's my job to figure out. Um, you know, I, I gave it a couple of thoughts and I was thinking what better way to learn more about our batch than to just ask our batch ourselves. So I think that's what I know I'm going to do uh, for now, which is to get you guys involved. And I'm going to find as many seniors as possible to do a short interview and see what are their thoughts on Yale and US. So with that in mind, let us um, try to find some people to interview. Honestly, I think the best person to find first is probably some of my street mates, so let's go outside first. Oh, hey Ivo. Uh, nothing much, but I was wondering if I could ask you a couple questions. Yeah, of course. Okay, they're like super chill, just about graduation, but um, I guess I just wanted to know, what is one word you would describe your YNC journey? Unexpected. Unexpected. Sentimental. Loving. Inspiring. Nurturing. Fulfilling. 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 Amazing. I think it's because throughout the four years, there's a lot of amazement that I felt at how things turn out to be. For the better. Yeah. Tumultuous. Fun. Vibrant. Transformative. 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 Tell me how you would sum up your YNC journey in one word. I would say adventurous. It was a lot. Silly. Pee poo poo. Curious. So, so far, everybody has shared about how their YNC journey was like. But I guess another question that I really wanted to ask was, you know, what are some of the cool stories or memories that you've had at Yale News College? So I wanted to ask the class of 2024, what are some of the fun, unexpected, or kind memories that you shared with someone from our batch? And let's see their answers. Hi everyone. So funny story, my sweetmate and I might have accidentally shared a toothbrush for a couple weeks because we didn't realize that we had the same one in the same color. During our sophomore antics, there was a time when we took a bit of happy juice. We and a bunch of other people, you know who you are, decided to go to the Saga Pond and take a little bit of a splash, a swim, a dip. And then yeah, we all went to bed after that and then I woke up the following day and I just kept it moving. <laughs> it really stuck with me at how good of a hugger Mira is. It was just a very, very warm and reassuring hug and I want to thank you, Mira. Tasha agreeing to sing with me for So Far So Good was a very kind thing that she's done for me. I was so nervous and someone just making you feel like you belong there and you know you should be comfortable is just something that I'll remember for a long time. There was one day I was sitting in the Chandana courtyard after I woke up and I was journaling and reading and Ibo walks up to me with a yakut in his hand and wordlessly passes it to me and I wordlessly take the yakut from him and I drink it and I'm like I love YNC so much I love you Rachel Tay thank you for always walking me back to my room even though I live two floors above you there was once I had my laundry all over my room my sweetmate had guests over and I didn't close my door and I was off campus so I texted Jeanette I was like can you please come and save me and clear all my laundry and close my room door and she came and do it for me so that was really nice a lot of students were at um, v Hotel for quarantine and people were absolute strangers to us we had never met them before but they were coming and delivering food in the dozens um, and there were a group of students who cooked laksa for us so that we could have a warm meal um, because the food was pretty bad Malika saw me looking very sleep deprived and sad and brought me a yogurt and a donut because she knows I love yogurt and sweet things and I cried because it felt nice to be known and cared for Whenever I have my birthday, um, and I always get surprised with a cake from Anna, Shania, Iwa, Abu. Whenever they do it, I'm always surprised because I never expect it. My sweetmate actually came to one of my classes and brought me a cup of coffee when I was tired and had class all day. Once Christina and I got locked out in school over the summer and we didn't have a, a room to stay in, so we unexpectedly stayed over in the library the whole night. Joseph drew a picture of my cat when my cat passed away and he got like a bunch of our friends to write like lots of encouraging messages because I was going through a hard time. In 2021 summer, it was quite a difficult summer for me. I was going through a lot of personal stuff and Amir especially was really, really there for me. 
and he went as far as like opening up his place for me to stay during that period. So it really meant a lot to me that he was there for me in a really, really tough time. Level 26. I think it's just a very cozy, private place to sort of sit down and relax. It's the YNC gym. It's got such a supportive environment. Canada College office. I used to always do work there. Nice sweet common area. A lot of conversations, a lot of yapping happened there. Elm Hammock because you can look up and see the trees like dancing over you and just kind of forget where you are in the world. We are the class of 2024. These past four years has truly been a wonderful journey and I am humbled to share them with some of the most talented and strong people I've ever met. These halls that we will soon leave behind may no longer serve as our home, but it is the memories, the people, the kindness, and most importantly, the spirit that will forever be scattered within our college. We had a good run. Don't stress, just go with the flow. <laughs> I love you! <laughs> Damn, it's been four years. Four years went by so fast, it was crazy, but I'm really happy that I got to do this with you guys. Thanks guys for, for the four years. Thank you for being an amazing batch and for showing like the different ways y'all care about each other and also like the different things in this world. It's been such a pleasure to journey alongside everyone and to feel the support and love throughout everything. I'm so, so proud of every single one of you and I'm proud to be in this class. I want to say thank you for being such an intimate, loving and supportive community and for always doing the most and like being there for each other.